Hello, family. Welcome back to Newman Gulfwood International Ministries. This is Minister Glenn A.J. Hoje, and I am delighted, as always, to be with you all to give the word of the Lord, the word that God has for every single one of you. Firstly, I want to say a big thank you to every single one that was live with me on the live stream on the on the Sudden Miracles administration, the Praise and Prayer administration service we had last night, you all. If you were there last night, can I just see you leave a comment in the comment section saying, I was blessed, okay? Even me, myself, I was blessed by that administration. Don't ask me how, but when the Lord is moving, he's moving. He's moving through the messenger. He's moving through the prophet. He's moving through the minister. He's moving because... We are all gathered in the same place. And his word says where two or three are gathered, that in their midst is going to be right there. So last night the Lord moved. So I believe that miracles are taking place already. Testimonies are going to start coming forth in Jesus' name. So before we go into this word I have from the Lord, I got this word straight from the Lord this evening as I listened to a sermon and the Lord spoke to me. And I just want to uh, firstly just thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to welcome the new uh, people we have on the channel. If you're new here or you just subscribe, you're welcome. Thank you so much for joining the ministry. Um, this is where God's miracles takes place, miracles of restoration and everything else that you're trusting the Lord for must begin to happen in your life. Amen. And for all of our returning subscribers, thank you so much for returning. And as always, I'd like to encourage you all, no matter what you're going through, wherever you find yourself in life, do not give up. I repeat, do not give up. Do not give up. You already gave, I mean, the enemy already, um, you know, took advantage in the beginning with Adam and Eve. He, he almost took everything, but God stepped in through Jesus Christ and gave you back everything that rightfully belongs to you, but it takes a fight. So don't give the enemy that chance again the second time. No, 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 no. Okay. So keep fighting you all. Right. Now. Precious Holy Spirit, please have your way. I've already prayed you all, but let's just quickly pray as a family. Amen. Praise God. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this um, opportunity to bring this word onto your people. I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that you will have your way. Your word says where two or three are gathered, that you are there in their midst. Lord, I pray that who this word is for, it will go right to their heart. It will encourage them. It will uplift them and stir up faith and empower them, Lord, to move on your instructions to obey you, O oh Lord. I pray that you will receive the grace for delightsome obedience to the word of God, that you will not miss what the Lord is doing in your life today. Lord, open the spiritual eyes and spiritual ears of every person here today, that they will see what you're saying and hear what the Spirit is saying right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, have your way. We worship you. We glorify you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, so I've got a few scriptures to read onto you all today. We cannot release the prophetic word of God without the scriptures. <laughs> Very important. Amen. So I'm going to read a few scriptures. Bear with me. If you have your notes and your pen, you can take this down as well. The first one is from the book of Genesis. Where's my glasses? You all, where is, where is my glasses? Oh, hold on a second. Okay, great. I've got my glasses. <laughs> okay. Genesis 22 verse 1 to 3. That's our first scripture. Then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a bond offering on the mountain I will show you. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and loaded his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son, Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the bond offering, he set out for the place God had told him about so we all know the story about how the lord god almighty gave abraham a word of instruction go and sacrifice your son your only son <laughs> the only son abraham had the lord told him to sacrifice amen and what did abraham do abraham instantly took off the following morning first thing he took off it says early the next morning abraham got up he got up and he went he moved on the word of god now, let's check out our next scripture that says uh, from, from the book of Exodus 13 verses uh, 21 to 22. By day, the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud. That's the people of Israel. Amen. To guide them on their way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people hallelujah so you see when the lord was leading the people of israel 
out of the land of Egypt where God didn't want them to be anymore. They had suffered. They had toiled. They, they had gone through all sorts of nasties. Okay. The, the people of Egypt had, um, done all sorts of things to them. Um, they, they labored and everything. Okay. So God was finally, you know, leading them out of the land of Egypt. Okay. For you, what is that land of Egypt? What is that place that you have been in? What is that situation that you've been experiencing? God is leading you out of that place. Place. It could be a physical place and the Lord is leading you into where he needs you to be. It could be a mental transition, whatever it is that you are going through in your body, in your mind. God wants to transition you. God wants to move you. Amen. God wants to elevate you. And listen, God was guiding the people of Israel out of the land where, where they were familiar with, where they knew the punishment that they went through, the everything, the oppression they went through. He was leading them by, by the pillar of cloud in the day. And the pillar of fire to give them light. If God is leading you, if God is directing you and guiding you and um, showing you the way to go, he's going to be there all through day and night. You don't need to be doubting the Lord. It's not time for you to doubt what the Lord is saying. It's not time for you to doubt what the Lord is saying. Amen. Because you need to understand something. My next scripture says, it says in Romans 10, 11, it says, anyone who trusts in the Lord will never be disgraced. Anyone who trusts in the Lord will not be put to shame. Anyone who believes in the Lord will not be put to shame. That's Romans 10, 11. You will not be put to shame if you just trust the Lord. Whatever shame you may have experienced in your entire life, God is going to turn everything into glory and honor. You just keep on following him. People may be talking to you in some kind of strange way, making you you know, feel like you're worth nothing. But you just keep following the Lord because where the Lord is taking you to, the end of it all is glory and honor. That's what you need to understand. That is your passion in Christ Jesus. It's glory and honor. And that will begin to manifest here on the earth. You just need to Keep on obeying the Lord and moving on his and moving on his every every in, in instructions. Amen. Praise God. My next scripture says Romans 8 28. It says, and we know that it, that in all things, praise God, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who loves him. Who have been called according to his purpose. You have been called according to the purpose of God. Then you know that God works for your good because you love him. God is working for your good because you love him. All things. All things. All things. God is working out for your good. It says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who loves him. If you love the Lord, God is working, working all things out for your good. Can somebody type in the comment section, God is working it out for my good. God is working it out for my good. The Lord is working it out for my good. That's something for you to rejoice about. Amen. Because he's preparing you. Behind the scene, he's preparing you, he's repositioning you, he's guiding you, he's refining you, he's showing you the way to go, he's telling you, he's speaking to you, do this, tomorrow morning, do this, next week, do this, prepare yourself, get ready, get ready, get ready, it's time to go, it's time to move, it's time to do this, pray for this person, do that, whatever the Lord tells you to do, do it, whatever the Lord tells you to do, you do it. Because it's working out for your good. Because you've been called according to his purpose. You've been called according to his will for you. You've been called according to destiny. Your destiny in Christ Jesus. Your glorious destiny. God is working it out for your good. The Lord is working it out for my good. And you know that you can trust the Lord because he's too faithful to fail. He's not a God that will say one thing and do the other. No, 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 no. He is working it out for your good. I'm saying that prophetically to you right now because God is a God that is above every other God, every man. He's not a man that he should lie. He is working it out for your good. Say to yourself right now, say, God is working it out for my good. Amen. Praise God. So it is time to move. It is time to move. For many of you, you need to move on the word of God that you've been sitting on. God gave you a word a month ago, three weeks ago. He said, do this, do that. Go here or go there. You've not done it. Listen, God is saying to you right now, trust me in the process. That's the word I heard in my spirit this evening. The Lord says, trust me in the process. 
The Lord is saying to you, trust me in the process. You know what the process is. I don't know what the process is because I can only prophesy in parts. But God is saying to you through his word, he says, trust me in the process. You need to trust the Lord in the process. You need not to doubt. You need to plead the blood of Jesus Christ against the foul spirit of doubt. You need to plead, um, um, you need to pray to Jesus and say, Jesus, I believe you, but please help my unbelief. You need to ask the Holy Ghost to, to, um, to help you, to help your faith not to fail, to help, to help you to trust in the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. God is saying to you right now, trust me in the process. The Lord wants us to trust him, beloved. The Lord wants us to trust him. He's the one guiding you. He's the one leading you. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Be courageous. Amen. As his word says, be courageous. Hallelujah. Praise God. So let the Lord lead you. Let him lead you. Do not lean onto your own understanding, but trust the Lord in all of your ways and all that you do. Acknowledge him. Do not, do not, do not, do not be uh, misguided by, by um, what people are saying. Okay, listen to the Lord's instruction. Amen. And when God tells you to do something, don't go and check with Auntie B or Uncle A or your mom and your dad or your um um or your friends or your sister. No, 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 no. Listen to the Lord's voice. Be quiet. Bow your head down. If you don't know which way to go, ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what's next? What's the next step? Always ask the Holy Spirit, what's the next step? Which way to turn? Which way to go? Amen. He will dissolve every fear and every doubt that the enemy tries to place in your mind. And he will show you the way to go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Okay. It was when Abraham moved that the Lord made provision. Did you all say that in the scripture, Genesis 22? It was when Abraham moved. If you keep on reading further down towards the end of that same chapter in Genesis, you will find that it was when Abraham moved that God made provision. For many of you, you are afraid to take that step of faith because God has told you to go to this certain country, to maybe meeting with your um, with your kingdom spouse or to go into the start of the ministry that he has given you the mandate for, but you're hesitant to move. Why? Because you haven't seen the provision. Why? Because you haven't seen the financial provision. You haven't seen the miracle. You haven't seen that big thing that you're waiting for. No, the Lord is saying to you, move. It is time to move. It is time to move. It was when Abraham moved on the word that God gave to him. He says, go and sacrifice your son. What did God do? Keep reading down and you see, you find out that Abraham got up in the morning, early the next morning. Abraham got up early the next morning and he moved and he moved and he took his son and he went forward. And, and, and as he was about to slay his child, to sacrifice his child unto God in obedience to the word of God, what did the Lord do? The angel of God stopped Abraham right there and said, now I know you have faith in God. And he said to look behind him. And what did Abraham find? The, ex the exact thing the Lord wanted Abraham to use for the sacrifice, for the bond offering was provided right there, right then. It was only a test of Abraham's faith. I pray for you all today that you will not fail the test that God puts you on or puts you through. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will not fail your test. You need to move. You need to move. Whether you know what you're doing, you don't know what you're doing, you don't know which way to go. All you need to do is to ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, guide me. Before you know it, you're taking the step the Lord wants you to take. But if you don't pray, but if you don't ask, you will not receive. But you can't just sit down there and do nothing. When you sense the Lord is speaking to you in your spirit, you sense something, you say, Lord, is this you? You need to move. You need to ask the Holy Spirit to give you supernatural courage to take that move of faith. Because it is only when you move that, that, that the Lord God Almighty will move. It is your move that will allow the Lord God Almighty to move. It is your faith move that will cause Jesus to move on your behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I will move. I will move on your word. Somebody put in the comment section, I will move on your word, Lord. I will move on the word of God. I will move on the word of God. I will move on the word of God. Let that be the only thing that moves you. Let nothing else in this life ever move you but the word of God. Because the word of God is a sure foundation, is a solid rock. Amen. That is the only truth in this entire life. Amen. So let the word of God move you. I will move upon the word of Lord. I will move upon the word of the Lord. Amen. I will move by the word of God. I will move on the word of God. I will move. Holy Spirit, help me to move. Holy Spirit, help me to move. Holy Spirit, help me to move. Holy Spirit, help my faith not to fail. Holy Spirit, help me to trust in the Lord God. I must trust in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is when you obey the Lord 
and you make that faith, that a move of faith that God begins to move. It is time for you to move on that instruction. It is time for you to move on that word of God. It is when you move, when you begin, sorry, it is when you move that you begin to see the power of God manifest. It is when you move that you begin to see the power of God manifest in your life. For many of you, it is also a physical move. Amen. It is a physical move, like I've already mentioned, but it's really you just obeying the Lord to, to, um, to, um, doing what he's asked you to do. Amen. For you to see that thing manifest. If you don't get up and do what God is saying for you to do, for you to see that physical move manifest, you can't receive what the Lord is saying he wants to give to you. You need faith, audacious faith. Amen. You need faith, audacious faith. Hallelujah. So ask the Lord to give you supernatural courage. Pray that right now. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you that you would give me supernatural courage. Give me supernatural courage. Holy Spirit, encourage me. Holy Spirit, encourage me. Holy Spirit, empower me. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Help me, Holy Spirit, to move on the word of God. Give me supernatural courage. I need supernatural courage. I must not miss what the Lord is doing. I must not miss you, Lord. I I must not miss you, Lord. Lord, help me, Lord God, that I will not miss what you are doing in my life right now give me supernatural courage in the name of jesus christ of nazareth holy spirit help me holy spirit help me holy spirit help me help me holy ghost i must not miss what you are doing father lord god i must not miss what you are doing in my life help me to partner with you consistently help me lord help my faith to continue to rise lord jesus help me supernatural courage i ask oh lord supernatural courage i receive supernatural courage i receive supernatural boldness i receive supernatural guidance supernatural leading help me holy spirit you are my ever present help in time of need help me lord in jesus name hallelujah praise god so this word is god's word for every single one of you that have been called according to the purpose of god amen so i pray that, i pray this word has blessed uh somebody tonight and um that's all I have to give to you all tonight. This is God's word for you. Trust the Lord in the process. Trust the Lord in the process. I'm with you all and I'm interceding and I'm praying for you all that you will receive the promise in due time. Just follow the Lord. Okay. Just let go of everything that is going to hold you back in this season. Okay. Do not be afraid. Trust in the Lord your God with all your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. And he will bring to pass what he has promised you. As long as you obey, there is provision on the other end in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So God bless you all. For anyone that needs mentoring or coaching, it's newmangoffawoodguide.com. And uh, for anyone that intends to sow into the ministry, the links are also in the bar below. And I want to say a, a huge thank you to everyone that took the time to sow into this ministry last night. You all, as you were sowing into the ministry last night during the live stream, we were also sowing into lives. That is the most beautiful thing ever. Jesus said in, 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 in his word, in the book of Acts, it is more blessed, blessed to give than to receive. It is more blessed to give than to receive. So last night, as you all were sowing into our lives, into the ministry, we were doing the same thing. <laughs> I'm a giver. I love to give. So God bless every single one of you and everyone else that intends to do that as well. Listen, you all, let's continue to be a blessing on to one another what is more beautiful than that that is love in its deepest form praise jesus somebody thank you holy spirit so god bless you all and for anyone that needs prayer requests or you or you have testimonies please send them to contact at newmangoffwood.com and i'll see you all in the next video which should be coming up um uh, maybe tomorrow on christmas day i don't know but yeah if i don't uh, come up here to uh put a video on christmas day i want to wish you all a merry christmas a merry 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 christmas and a very very glorious wonderful happy new year i want to wish you a merry christmas I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Hallelujah. God bless you all, and I'll see you all soon. Lots of love.